All right then gang, so now I'd like to turn our attention to these two things at the top to make them look more like buttons and also this one at the bottom. So in the code, that's these two elements right here and also one right at the bottom for load more. So instead of us adding in a load of different utility classes to all of these elements, these two and the bottom one to make them look like buttons, instead, why don't we externalize those into styles.css like we have done for badge and card using the apply directive. That way we don't have to write all of the styles out three times and then if we need to change the style of a button we have to change it in every place that we've created those styles. We just do it once inside styles.css. So let's do that. I'm going to create a BTN style and inside here we're going to use the apply directive. So the first thing I want to do is give this a rounded hyphen full class because that makes it into kind of like a capsule shape. Then I want to give this some padding in the Y direction, so PY hyphen two, also in the X direction, but this time by three. I want to make all of the text uppercase and I want to give it a font size of extra small, so text XS. I also want to make it bold, so font hyphen bold. And I want to give this a cursor of pointer. So you know when you hover over the anchor tags like this, we get the little hand, that is a pointer. Now it happens here by default, but in other buttons it might not. For example, this one doesn't. So a user doesn't really know that they can click that. So I'm explicitly giving it this style so that if we don't use this class BTN on an anchor tag, we still get that little hand icon. And another one we've not seen yet, which is the tracking. So tracking hyphen, and then we're going to use wider. And the tracking is the space between letters. And we're just going to increase that a little bit. That's all we're doing. So that is pretty much it for the button. Now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to give all of these things right here a class of button. So this one right here, BTN. And this one right here, BTN. And the one at the bottom, um, this one, BTN. All right, let's save it and preview. And if we refresh, now it's not working because stupidly I've forgotten to rebuild our CSS. Remember, whenever you change this, you need to rebuild the CSS. So let's say npm run, and then it's build hyphen CSS. And now once that is done, if we go over here, we should see the new styles. So this one right here is looking good, but this one needs a background color or maybe in fact a border. And then later on when we hover over it, we'll give it a different background color. Now then, I don't want to put those styles inside this thing right here because then it's going to apply to every button and every button would have that same border. Now, as it happens, I don't want this one to have that border. So only classes that are going to be applied to all buttons, only the generic base ones should be used in this selector right here. And anything that's unique to certain buttons, we should put out here in the HTML. So let's scroll up to where we have these two. And what I'd like to do is give this a border of the primary color, which is kind of like that red color, the same as the text for the buttons as well. So let's say, first of all, border hyphen primary, and also the thickness. So I'm going to say border hyphen two. Now let me, oh, not border border. Let me copy those dudes and paste them down here as well. Like so. And let's check this out. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now I only want the border to be here for larger screens and not when they're in the middle over here. At this point, I'd like to take them off. Now this break point where they go over to the right up there, that's the point where I want to add the border and anything below that, I don't want there to be a border. So this should only come in this class when we reach medium sized screens and up. So let's now say border is two at MD plus. So grab that and paste it underneath here as well. It doesn't matter that this is here, by the way, because it's not going to actually appear unless we specify a width for the border. So I'm going to save that. And now for smaller screens, we shouldn't see that border. That's what I prefer. Okay, cool. So there we go, my friends. Now we also have a reusable button component as well.